In the vast expanse of the open ocean lies a formidable sea creature, a true behemoth of power, a nuclear leviathan known as the Typhoon-class submarine. This underwater titan stands as a testament to the unparalleled technological prowess of the Soviet Union, a legacy that reverberates since its inception in the 1970s. Picture a colossal vessel, stretching approximately 175 meters in length and weighing a staggering 48,000 tons. But this is no ordinary submarine, it is a floating fortress, armed with two nuclear reactors and harboring within its belly a deadly payload capable of unleashing unimaginable destruction. During the tumultuous era of the Cold War, the Typhoon-class submarine symbolized the pinnacle of Soviet naval power, instilling fear in the hearts of adversaries. In this episode, we delve into the legend of this nuclear giant. In the late 1960s, as the United States and the Soviet Union engaged in a precarious balance of nuclear power, both superpowers realized the futility of aggression. Thus, began an era of strategic arms limitation, focusing on the quality rather than the quantity of weapons. Submarine-launched ballistic missiles became the centerpiece of this arms race. While the United States developed the UGM-96 Trident, the Soviet Union unveiled the formidable R-39. Yet, despite its destructive capabilities, the Typhoon-class submarine had its weaknesses, notably its vulnerability to structural damage. However, the Typhoon's design was a marvel of engineering ingenuity. Its catamaran-type hull, constructed of titanium alloy, housed 20 silo-mounted ballistic missiles concealed beneath layers of steel and specialized materials to evade detection. But the Typhoon was more than just a weapon of war, it was a floating city, equipped with luxurious amenities for its crew. Gyms, pools, and saunas adorned its cavernous interior, earning it the nickname Hotel of the Seas. Security was paramount aboard this underwater fortress, with compartments segregated to mitigate the risk of catastrophic damage. Even in the face of adversity, such as the explosion aboard the Arkhangelsk in 1991, rapid evacuation protocols ensured the safety of its crew. At the heart of the Typhoon lay its deadliest weapon, the SSNX-20 Sturgeon Ballistic Missile. Capable of delivering multiple warheads with pinpoint accuracy, it represented a formidable deterrent against aggression. Yet, despite its fearsome reputation, the era of the Typhoon-class submarines eventually drew to a close. As the Soviet Union collapsed, funding for its naval forces dwindled, leading to the retirement and decommissioning of these maritime giants. The retirement of the Typhoon-class submarines marked the end of an era, but their legacy endures as a testament to human ingenuity and the perils of nuclear brinkmanship. They have left an indelible mark on the annals of naval history, immortalized as the guardians of the deep. As we bid farewell to these maritime behemoths, we reflect on the lessons they impart, that power unchecked can lead to ruin, and that peace, however fragile, is always worth pursuing. And so, we salute the Typhoon-class submarines, the sea monsters of yore, whose deeds shall echo through the ages. This concludes our exploration into the depths of Russia's largest submarine. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for the next episode.